Well, I'm telling you what, if we got a top 20, we're going to celebrate like crazy. But I'll tell you what, the, the car was really fast. The guys did a great job. And w- about three quarters of the way through the race, I lost my speed. I just like, I, I'm like, man, the motor's laying down. Something happened. And I couldn't keep up anymore. Now I was doing all I could to try and stay on the back of the draft. And I didn't know what the problem was. And I kept talking about it, talking about it, because the car is completely different. And then we found that, the, you know, that's a really sensitive aerodynamic area on the car. So it takes air in the front and puts it out the side. Well, the air isn't coming out the side anymore. So it was like a giant parachute. I mean, you know, the hole in the front of the nose is this big. And, and if you do that, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. So that we found out why we, we slowed down because unfortunately we missed the jack post. And, you know, that'll happen. <laughs> with a new team and they, they made a mistake and um, probably cost us 15th place or something you know but um, that's what it is it is what it is you've driven multiple different iterations of race car in your whole entire career which one of these iterations so far here at the new Atlanta I might add is your favorite so far well this is the only thing I've driven here so I have to say this <laughs> but um, you know I'm, I'm a little bit old school We're back in 2005, 6, 7. Um, 2005, 6, 7 were really, really fun cars. Um, but, you, you know, there, there's been good iterations all throughout. And I think, you know, I think this car is, is one of them that's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be a good car. Now, I got I to gotta ask that, that Jay, annoying question. Is the scoring pylon wrong? Well, what is that? I thought we finished 21st. It says 20th. No, I think uh, I, I thought know. we were 21st. I thought, we, I thought it was 21st. It was 19. No, it was 19. Unless, unless somebody didn't cross the line, we passed him. So wait until it goes back around right here. Anyway, how's it feel being back in the sport too? By the it way, it feels good. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. It was. Uh, I'm telling you what, it was a long day. Which 20? I was. 20. Uh, I was. I was kind of making. I was making fun of it. Uh, Oh shit, really? <laughs> You're good. All right. Hey, I know how to work this. I, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's beep. Uh, You're fine. Yeah. You know, it feels good to be back. I, I, I'm just trying to help these guys get this thing started. You know, I'm not back full, full time, but I want to get them going, and this, this is a good result for them. You know, we got a lot to learn. Uh, you know, the the tape came off of our arrow on our jack point, so when we pitted, the, the jack man couldn't tell where the where the spot was and missed it. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Yeah, it blew off." I'm like, "You can't do that at this level. Mm-hmm. You can't have mistakes. Right. Use a paint pen, something, clean it off, and and get tape on it." You know, so um, you know, it was those kinds of things they got to learn. The biggest lesson you learned today as a competitor. You know, I learned what a lot. Of, he's old. <laughs> I learned a lot about this racetrack. I mean, this racetrack's uh, different. You know, um, you know, I learned a lot about this car. I think you know how it, you know, goes up and comes back, up and back. Um, I, I think I learned a decent amount about it. How many more races you got planned for this? We're playing it by ear, one race at a time. So we don't, we can't get ready for uh, Coda next week. It's too much change. Uh, too much work to, to get it ready and we don't have all the parts so we're going to think our next race is Richmond. Uh, hey, and lastly, I want to ask you too, I mean, you see a lot of these guys going to broadcast booth. What's the likelihood we'll see as a driver analyst in one of the races you're not out there? Uh, maybe, you know, if uh, if my phone rings and then we'll talk about it, but yeah, it would be fun. It'd be fun to do. Oh, and one more. My, this is my question. All I'm right. an HBCU graduate myself, so what is it like representing all the HBCUs out there? I think it's great. I love it. And, uh, I mean, it's been a learning experience for me. And, you know, all the following that this car has with, with all the uh, the colleges is, is amazing. And I'm, I'm proud to be, you know, we, to be in Wheeling. All right. Thanks, Greg. Yeah. Awesome.